The French Angora rabbit has a commercial type body and a strong, sturdy frame. Unlike their English counterparts, French Angoras do not have facial furnishings. They can have minor tufting on the rear legs with the rest of their bodies being covered in coarse guard hair and crimped under wool. French Angora Rabbit Breed History Out of all five Angora rabbit breeds, of which four are recognized by the Arba, the French Angora rabbit is arguably the closest in resembling the original Angora that was brought from Ankara, Angora, Turkey in 1723 to France by sailors. The first Angora to set foot in America was called the Angora Wooler and there was no differentiation between French, English, Giant, or Satin Angora. It was only in 1944 that the Arba split these four different kinds of breeds. Today, the French Angora is the second most popular Angora breed, just behind the English. Size and Appearance A fully grown rabbit can weigh anywhere around 7.5 to 10.5 pounds, making it a large breed. The ideal weight of a French Angora is 8.5 pounds because the French Angora was originally bred for just its wool and meat, it has a strong, oval-shaped, and firm body type. The head is required to be oval-shaped and proportionate to the body. Unlike English Angoras, French Angoras do not have thick wool coverings on their face, ears, and feet. However, the rest of their bodies are covered in crimped under wool and coarse guard hair. Coat while the French Angora rabbit is low maintenance in terms of diet bedding, they do require the most attention in the coat department. The French Angora's coat is called wool, as it can be spun to make articles of clothing. In order to have clean, mat-free wool, you need to clean and tend to their coat. Their coat can grow as much as 6 inches every season, although the ideal length is about 2 to 3 inches. This means rabbit owners need to take the time to shear or trim their French Angora's wool 3 to 4 times a year. This means regular brushings on an as-needed basis, this may be as often as every day to as little as once a week, as well as regular blow dryings to keep their coat separate and clean since rabbits cannot and should not take baths this makes them anxious and can cause cardiac problems, sometimes resulting in death. Colors The French Angora rabbit has a long list of coat colors and markings. The pointed white Angoras are pure white in color with markings on the nose, ears, feet, and nails. The self-group includes blue and ruby-eyed white rabbits, black, dark slate wool and brown eyes, blue, slightly lighter than black coat with blue-gray eyes, chocolate, light brown wool with brown eyes, and lilac, pinky, dove-gray wool with blue-gray eyes. The agouti group consists of chestnut, wool color is a blend of pearl and blue with brown eyes, chocolate agouti, rich brown wool with bands of tan and brown eyes, copper, roughish red wool with jet black tips, bands of red orange and brown eyes, lynx light tan colored wool with bands of tan or light lilac and blue gray eyes, and opal, primarily blue wool with bands of tan and blue gray eyes. The chinchilla varieties of angoras include chinchilla, wool is a blend of slate and pearl with alternating bands of pearl and blue gray with eyes of any shade, chocolate chinchilla, brown and pearl colored wool with bands of pearl or chocolate with eyes any shade of blue gray, brown or marbled, lilac chinchilla, Wool is a blend of lilac and pearl, with one or more bands of pearl or lilac with blue-gray eyes, and squirrel, blue-gray wool with one or more band of similar colors and blue-gray eyes. There are three more kinds of Angora color listings including the shaded group, which is pearl, sable, seal, smoke pearl, blue tortoiseshell, lilac tortoiseshell, chocolate tortoiseshell, and tortoiseshell. The ticked group features blue steel, chocolate steel, lilac steel, and steel colors, while the wide band group has cream, fawn, and red colors with their own distinctive markings. Handling The more they are handled, the more even-tempered and friendlier they become. Rabbits need to be socialized early in their life. Rabbits that aren't handled regularly from a young age may get stressed from human contact. The same goes for rabbits that are handled roughly at any age. Like most rabbits, French Angoras enjoy getting attention from their owners and love being petted. When it comes to handling, Make sure you're mindful of your rabbit's sensitive back. When picking it up, talk quietly and move slowly to avoid startling your rabbit. A calm and quiet environment will help your rabbit feel more relaxed. Always pick your rabbit up when you're close to ground level. This is much safer and is less likely to scare your pet. All interaction, such as play and handling should be done at ground level when possible. If your French Angora is easily startled, covering its eyes in the crook of your arm can help it feel more relaxed. Make sure the nostrils aren't covered when you're doing this. It's best to keep young children and children with no experience carrying rabbits away as poor handling can easily distress them and cause them to dislike human handling. Exercise and play. Chewing toys are incredibly important for pet rabbits. Not providing enough chewing toys for your rabbit will cause it to gnaw at objects it's not supposed to, such as wires, wooden furniture, or your brand new shoes. 
allow your rabbit to play with rabbit-friendly toys from the pet store or rabbit-safe blocks of wood. You can also DIY your rabbit toys using empty rolls of toilet paper. Litter training. Unlike cats and dogs, French Angoras can be slightly trickier to litter train. Luckily, they're highly intelligent animals. It only takes a little bit of time and patience to litter train and French Angora rabbit. Identify the corner of the cage where your rabbit usually does its business and place one litter box there. Soon enough, your rabbit will associate the litter box as its designated area to poop. However, one litter box isn't going to be enough for a French Angora. Place multiple litter boxes around the house so that your rabbit will not be tempted to poop in a corner of your home because it cannot hold it in. If you notice your rabbit pooping somewhere it is not supposed to, place a litter box in that corner. Harvesting Wool A French Angora's coat can grow as much as 6 inches per season. However, the ideal length is around 2 to 3 inches. Therefore, you need to take the time to trim or shear your rabbit's wool 3 to 4 times a year. You can shear your French Angora using rabbit-safe clippers. Using electric trimmers is the fastest way to remove rabbit fur. The downside is that it impacts the quality of the harvest. When you shear a rabbit, you're removing fully grown long fur, short fur, and coarse guard hairs. When you're spinning sheared wool, the shorter fibers will shed out of the yarn. Combing is a more time-consuming method of removing excess Angora fur than shearing, but it yields a better quality harvest. Sitting down and grooming your French Angora should be a relaxing part of your day where you and your pet can spend some time bonding together. You can also pull your rabbit's hair when it starts to molt. If you're using this method, make sure the fur pulls easily and doesn't require your force. If it hurts your rabbit or if your rabbit isn't ready, wait another week before trying again. Nail trimming. French Angoras need to have their nails trimmed regularly. Overgrown nails can easily get caught on the floor and in different crevices around the house. Long nails that get caught in objects can lead to ripped, bloody nails and even broken toes. The longer you neglect your rabbit's nails and the longer they grow, the more difficult they become to manage and shorten. Cat nail cutters work well for rabbits. Just make sure you don't cut the quick of your rabbit's nails to avoid pain and bleeding. If you cut the quick by mistake, use styptic powder or cornstarch to stop the bleeding. Weather French Angoras are vulnerable to heat, wetness, and drafts because of their long fur. While rabbits are well adapted to cold weather, it's important to make sure they are protected from rain, wind, and snow at all times. During the summer months, placing a bottle of frozen water or a cold ceramic tile in your rabbit's cage can help cool your rabbit's body. Terracotta hideaways can also help cool your rabbits and guard them against sunlight. Adding a fan can allow cool air to circulate inside the cage. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.